hey there um i'm gonna today i'm gonna make a, a video game that uh, uh you probably know about it's called cookie clicker i'm gonna make it uh, a quick quick sketch uh, just gonna move myself over here and i'm using open processing it's an editor for um uh, p5 which is a javascript library uh, which makes it uh, really fast to to make uh, can make uh, graphics and uh, small games so let's see here uh, i have a setup and a draw function uh, uh, already written for me so um let's see what I, what do i need to do i need um i need a cookie so uh, i first start a sketch i i have to save it Name it with the name <clears throat> and uh, I get this uh, thing here. I push on the three dots um, just upload a file. I think I have a cookie image. You can just Google and find one yourself like that. Um, so when I make a game or make a program of any kind, I like to just uh, uh, think about how, how I can uh, divide it in in small steps. So um, first thing I need to do is to show the cookie on sc on the screen, and to do that in in P five, I need uh, I have, there's uh, three three steps to go through. First, define a variable for the for the for the image cookie. I can maybe zoom in a bit. That um, in my setup function, which is um, where I install, uh, there we go. Where I install, uh, I initialize uh, uh, variables and and anything uh, that that I need for the program. Uh, here I um, I'm going to use a function p5 function. It's called load image, and I'm going to uh, set my my cookie to load image and the name of the file like that in my draw function I'm gonna erase that line because I'm not I'm not uh, drawing an ellipse I'm drawing a cookie I'm using the image function in p5 using uh, my variable and then it takes four parameters and um, First, it takes an x and a y position. I'm going to set it to um, to go right in the middle. So I'm using uh, the width of the window divided by two, subtracting it. Uh, I just wait wait for that. First, uh, I'll do the window height divided by two. Then I take the width and the height of the cookie, and let's say uh, I give them. Uh, 400 by 400 and um, yeah let's just uh, save and see what 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 that means if I zoom back out so it it's um, it's not exactly in the center because the center is here so it's the start starting x and y position of the image. So I need to subtract by half the width and half the size of the cookie. So that's easy to do. It's little uh, mathematics here. I just subtract by 200 because it's 400 uh, wide and, and high. So now it's perfectly in the center. All right, uh, what do I need next? I need a score. So I can click and, and the score will, will go up. With the score, it's the same as the image, and there's there are three steps. Um, define a variable called score, and um, in the setup function, I will set it to zero at first, and then in the draw function, I have a an uh, a function, another function, a p5 function. It's called um, text. There, I get the variable score, and I give it uh, x and a y position. And why not right away give it the size because it's gonna be really small. I give it like a 50 size. Let's see if it turns up. So now it's up here. And um, great. 
Um, I'm moving right on. I need another function uh, to to detect the user uh, key pressed. It's called. Um, so if I remember, I think it was like this: key pressed, and now we're gonna check if the key code is equal to something. Let's see here. Um, I I uh, I'm gonna use the mouse press function instead. So. It's a, it's, a, it's a super simple function. It's just uh, checking all the time, is the mouse pressed? And then you, what, what are we gonna do? Well, we're gonna just raise, raise the score with one, just like that. We can write score plus plus or score equals score plus one. It's the same thing. So plus plus is shorter, so I like that. All right, let's see what that does. So uh, so now the the score goes up, but there's a problem because it's um, uh, the background is um, the thing is I need to explain this. The draw function is our uh, game engine, you call it. So it goes in a loop. It goes it it goes a certain um, amount of frames per second. The the code inside the draw function will be executed. So um now right now we're we're uh, making a background color here in gray i'm gonna cut it out from the setup function and i'm gonna put it at first in the draw function first line because i need to redraw it every frame just goes on top of each other all the time to be able to uh, to see the score because otherwise the score just uh, draws on top of itself in, uh, instead so now it works uh, right away. So so right now the 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 cookie clicky game is kind of finished, but as you can see, I can still click wherever. So that's um, it can be optimized. It can be uh, improved, and I want just uh, this uh, area to be clickable. Actually, I'm gonna make like a square like that to make it uh, that that's okay for this one. Um, so I need uh, like a collision code, you call it. I, I call it anyway. Um, so let's see where I'm going to do this. Mm. I'm going to do it inside the mouse press function. I'm going to do some s simple if statements. So if um, I'm going to use if I variable called mouse x, if mouse x is bigger than mm, Let's see here. Where are we? I guess we we're gonna need uh, some variables for the cookie, right? Cookie x and cookie y. That's gonna be uh, easier for us to work with. So cookie x is equal to cookie y is equal to. What do you think we're gonna put there? Well. We're gonna put this one here. I'm gonna cut this one out. Put it there. Put this one, the Y position out, and put it there. So now we have it in our setup. Now we can use those variables here: cookie x, e y. So now I can use these variables. If mouse x is bigger than cookie x. Is the score? Um, and mouse x is less than cookie x. Now you have to think here. Cookie x is the starting x position for the cookie image, and uh, we need the end position. That's going to be cookie x plus the width of the cookie. So if mouse x is less than cookie x plus 400. So now the x, x positions should work. Let's see if they do. So now we just 
it doesn't react when I click over here. It doesn't react here. Do, do, do. There, it starts uh, working here, and it works, and it works, and it works, and it stops working here. That's great. So now I just do, need to do the same for the Y positions, because this is still not working. So really easy, I think. Uh, mouse Y uh, bigger than cookie Y and mouse Y less than cookie Y plus 400 because that's the height. So, so I need uh, to make it less than cookie, the bottom of the cookie. All right, save. It works, it doesn't react from here, and now it starts reacting kind of where the image uh, starts. And it stops reacting. So that's uh, super, uh, maybe just a little bit uh, <clears throat> better, more colorful background here. Uh, what we're gonna give it, oh, I'm just experimenting here. Nice purple color, and then uh, Maybe why not have the score uh, to be white? That's also easy to do in P5. You just write fill 255, which is the, the color value for white. So there you have it. Nice little cookie clicker game. Is it working? Yeah. yeah. Uh, in uh, uh, just a couple of minutes time here, I'm not sure how, how far we... How long that took? 15 minutes. Um, and um, so uh, this is uh, just a quick game, game uh, and to make in uh, P5, which is a JavaScript library. Uh, you can use this openprocessing.org, a really uh, handy uh, online editor. Um, so I hope to hope to see you again. And if you if you like this um, the small game tutorial. Uh, click like and uh, please subscribe if you like um, and uh, if you do maybe I will uh, make more videos like this see you next time bye bye